Hi, uh, hi, this is Sanjay Parihar, and I'm, I'm a technologist. I'm from Houston, Texas. As I mentioned earlier, that uh, we are going to bring uh, a lot of notable faces from tool trouble, spiritual yoga, and meditation, uh, you know, uh, side to understand what exactly is their thought process on the post-COVID-19 preparation for for you know for tourism, for hospitality, from serving customers. So here we are. And this is one of the great day for us uh, to have uh, Yogi Shivan with us in, in the talk show. Thank you for joining uh, Yogi Shivan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. And uh, 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 along with that conversation, Rohit is also has joined with us. Hello, Rohit. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thanks for having oh, me. Great. Uh, so now, uh, I mean, uh, coming back to the most important thing, um, as we know that uh, becoming yogi is not easy. It's tough, requires a lot of hard, hard perseverance. It is a journey. It is, a, I would say, and I'm sure it's going to be a very passionate journey. Could you share your uh, journey as such, uh, Yogi Ji? Because this will be very, very helpful for our customer to understand what are the hardship you have gone from zero to this point and this will be story <laughs> learning. Please share, please share some line on that, Yuki Ji. Uh, at the outset, I'm, I'm sorry to say, becoming a yogi is not a big thing. It's a... For you, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Actually, it is wrongly taught. Okay. For, for hundreds of years, we have been taught like that. Being a yogi means you have to go to the Himalayas, you have to go to the dense forest and you have to torture your body. No, no. Mm -hmm. The word meaning yoga is union, connection. Mm -hmm. It is as simple as a child who is getting connected his, with his mother. So, child is not doing any extra effort to get a connection with the mother. So, whenever he is hungry, he is crying. And he has an unconditional approach to his mother. So mother will take care of him. Same way, we have the right to approach our cosmic mother, mother nature. And we have to have an unconditional approach. Then there will be a link between mother nature and our existence. We will be taken care of as a child by cosmic mother. So being into that interaction is called yoga. So. If you want to become a yogi, just take out the ego, surrender to mother nature and to put all our you know, head weights in front of nature and say that I am nothing, mother nature take care of me. When you uh, establish that link, that is what is called yoga, union between the mother nature and ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is simple, but it needs some disciplines. That disciplines are misinterpreted a lot. That is what we have to learn in a scientific and pragmatic way. Now, modern world is desperately looking forward for getting it. Yes. Then one more thing, as you asked, how I had gone through. Yes, I was not aware of this. I was also taught that being a yogi is a strenuous work. So I went to forest. Of course, five years I spent in my seclusion. There I came face to face with the truth. Then only I recognized that, my goodness, why I suffered this much. It was as easy as my breathing. There I decided to come out from the forest and I, uh, you know, uh, gave up my saffron, the mm -hmm. sage's dress, and I mm -hmm. wore my normal dress and I joined in the society and I declared that you mm -hmm. can be one among the society mm -hmm. and you can have a wonderful inner life same time you can be in tune with our friends relatives and uh, what they say the modern world we can be successful yes wow wow and um, i mean ego and surrender um, it may be very personal, personal to you that it's really easy but again ego sharing is, is very one of the difficult thing which um, you know i have i've heard and i've seen now um you know, and uh, in, in that line, uh, we have definitely heard 
uh, we are not sure, but we have heard that Ayurveda and yoga certainly can help to increase the immune, immune, immune power and thus help to for the COVID-19, for fighting with the uh, COVID-19 as such or any, yes. any other thing, right? Um, so what's your thought on that? Uh, what do you think? See, we are depending more on our intellect. Mm -hmm. Everything is like based on data. Mm -hmm. What is, what have done and what was recorded and whatever we see, we have to analyze. Whatever we heard, we have to analyze. But right. one thing we should, we should make sure that, or we should understand that, eyes are too limited to understand the existence of nature, the dimensions of nature. Our eyes will recognize only one velocity, that 300,000 kilometers per second. Mm -hmm. Above and below, there are millions and millions of velocities. Same way our ear can recognize only 20 to 20,000 hertz. Mm -hmm. Beyond and below, it is silence for us. Mm -hmm. And we need, we will look forward for clarification or analysis through the senses. If somebody says something, oh, I didn't hear it. If you listen or if you want to stick on hearing, how many of us can hear our blood flow? Where there is a movement, there must be a sound. Can we hear the flow of our you know, blood flow? We cannot. Our, mm -hmm. one, our cell is vibrating. We mm -hmm. are not hearing it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that it is not there. And mm -hmm. there are many, many, many things which are beyond our intellect. So mm -hmm. giving up that dependence is called renunciation, giving up. Mm -hmm. Not like going away from the material world or giving up all our belongings. No. Mm -hmm. Give up the adamant nature of you know clinging to the senses. Mm -hmm. That is what is called renunciation. Mm -hmm. We should appreciate our instinct also. Mm -hmm. Like if the out, outside temperature is high, mm -hmm. body will start sweating. It is a spontaneous reaction in tune with nature. It has nothing to do with our intellect. Maximum intellect can do, oh, now I am sweating. So I switch on the fan or switch on the AC. That is an intellectual decision. But the major part is instinctive. Like for example, if you go to a mental asylum, if the full moon day, majority of the patients will be violent. Hmm. New moon day, majority will be silent. A person who is having asthma, hmm. full moon day it will, and new moon day, it will be aggravated. That hmm. means hmm. The, the changes in moon hmm. directly affecting our system. We are not recognizing it because it is not very tender. But mm -hmm. people who are having some problems, they are very, uh, you know, like uh, uh, sensitive. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. why it is visible. A person mm -hmm. is mentally sensitive, he will reflect it. That is why we call them lunatics. Mm -hmm. Something connected with the moon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything is connected with uh, this cosmic, you know, um, like uh, energy sources, what we, what we call planets and stars. And they mm -hmm. have a direct link with our existence. And if we uh, determine that or if we claim that, no, we will believe only something which is explained through the senses, it is impossible. Mm -hmm. Once we give up that adamant nature mm -hmm. and appreciate the domination of nature, mm -hmm. nature will, we will make a link between the nature, the law of nature and our system. Mm -hmm. That, yes, that will make a wonderful change within ourselves. Mm -hmm. There, as you said, Ayurveda, Ayur, the word meaning of Ayurveda is, Veda means knowledge or understanding, mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. understanding. Mm -hmm. Ayur means our life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our life, life right. cannot be explained because mm -hmm. we know everything is connected and uh, uh, if you ask me, I will say I am Yogi Shiva. Mm -hmm. If you again the question, ask a question, if you are Yogi Shiva, is this your body is yours? or you are the body. Mm -hmm. I will say, I am not the body. Body is mine because I know very well one day this body will fall. Still, mm -hmm. I will remain. Mm -hmm. So, I will knowing, mm -hmm. yes. So, mm -hmm. knowing about that is called I, the knowledge of eyes. I mean, mm -hmm. the life. So, Ayurveda is a complete understanding of how we are born, how we are maintaining and how we will leave this plane of consciousness. 
mm-hmm. there is no beginning or end mm-hmm. in the existence but it mm-hmm. is only in our mind mm-hmm. that is the limit so here yoga will come in alignment with ayurveda so people are seeing yoga and ayurveda are entire you know different things but mm-hmm. no actually yoga is certain ayurveda is gross so if ayurveda oh. is the body mm-hmm. life is yoga like that yes wow wow yeah. and uh, uh, so this is something we great learning for us as well like you saying that uh, now be with that cosmic mother cosmic and uh, f- follow the flow uh, basically because like you mentioned that there is a um, you know the big moon has suddenly some sort of uh, effect on the body and okay. that basically changes the emotions and bunch of other things and okay. and that is a science which has been covered by you know in a way yoga and ayurveda sound sounds like which basically goes to the core of the, those things and okay. and kind of kind of fix that wow and 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 this is very natural right um and uh, it's very interesting so so now coming back to this thing ayurveda uh, like you said it has a certain different meaning and yoga and ayurveda are two different things um ayurveda is is been able to solve uh, some of the problems uh, some of the chronic disease and, and uh, earlier and i'm I, i have been evident to that for sure personally um you know especially a asthma problem you know some minor asthma problem i have been and then you know been solved you now through ayurveda so so now um uh, you know tell us what other thing ayurveda can do and i believe it is a it is a science it is it is still evolve and not evolving it's very established science it's still more discovered as the time goes right uh, tell us how what else uh, ayurveda can do as such See, a complete, Ay- yeah. Yeah. complete Ayurveda can do everything what we need. Mm-hmm. Because Ayurveda explains like this. Sharira manaso yogo paraspara mm-hmm. manavrajo. So whatever is manifested in the body mm-hmm. and what is existing in the mind, mm-hmm. we can handle it. Mm-hmm. it. Again, it continues like prasan atme indriya mana. means prasannada means the activation of atma your mm-hmm. spirit mm-hmm. indriya your senses mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. your mind mana means mind so as this modern uh, definition of health mm-hmm. it is a total well being physical mm-hmm. mental and spiritual mm-hmm. there is no difference between the uh, concept of modern uh, uh, like medical system and uh, ancient medical system mm-hmm. it is a complete care ayurveda can make everything possible but how it is not like our modern medical application mm-hmm. you cannot buy health mm-hmm. it is a change it is a systematic change from within so 50% only we can get from outside as guidance wow. either wow. as mm-hmm. like a mental support or medicine support but the neck the inner 50% has to be developed from within so in ayurveda treatment is an understanding or an you know like knowledge exchange between the practitioner and the patient when we make it into a proper tune or a harmony ayurveda will make everything possible because it is not dealing with the symptoms it will go to the core the core issue will be restructured that means the problem right from the beginning to the manifested level will be eliminated that is the advantage of ayurveda here we can say there is no treating someone who is having the mm-hmm. acute level of immunity where is the question of a disease this is the message of ayurveda wow so increase the immunity of course increase the immunity and and then yes. rest everything is is kind of controlled by itself wow yes of course see look just now we are talking about uh, this now post covid effect mm-hmm. this is not the trying to think of post covid we don't know in which way it is going to come again mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. here here ayurveda or yoga is giving the answer it is a virus virus means it is it doesn't have a static you know existence it will keep on changing i mean it will mutate 
that is why modern medicine cannot target it it will keep on changing its nature mm-hmm. but here ayurveda and yoga says what is static in our body nothing our body is also like a virus body shiriyade adena sharira body is also keep on changing mm-hmm. but with our modern like a um, modern education is saying that linear method is applied we have to make everything stable which is against the law of nature right from the beginning in india in each and every child is taught om urva swaha tat saviturvare no it's called surya gayatri people didn't know oh, people thought oh this is only a mantra no mm-hmm. mantra is not a miracle mm-hmm. mantra is a mechanism to deal with the reality of the system which means everything is a flux you can see the cosmos the body whatever the manifested world as you see is a flux it doesn't have a static existence understand that nature when we understand that nature and we we'll, we we'll come to know how to handle this mutating body we can make a tune perfect harmony with the virus also nature is producing a virus to activate your immune system Mm-hmm. so when we follow the law of nature according to the stimulation or the vaccination body will make the mutation within then the virus cannot work against us on the contrary it will start working with us for our better immunity this is what we should understand in this in this crisis so mm-hmm. people are desperately try to find a tactic to fight back no it is not an enemy it should mm-hmm. be understood properly and adjusted accordingly the body is capable of doing that that kind of adjustment is called immunity mm-hmm. yes wow i mean this is a great to learn rohit isn't it yeah it's a great like uh, your knowledge is so perfect like mm-hmm. uh, and other many people can have an advantage of that in fact like i was going through the details and i understand the indimasi this health resort is your brain child yes to offer the healthy life to the society yeah. and of course it would be interesting for our idea our audience to know what exactly they can get from the indimasi and what is the objective of the indimasi for the society okay word indimasi is derived from a technical word in india tattumasi have you heard about that tattumasi yeah yes mm-hmm. which means tat that mm-hmm. tum you Asi, mm-hmm. so the shelter you are looking forward and you are requesting to nature or god whoever it is you can label whatever you want but you are searching for a remedy for your crisis you are praying for that but master is saying that 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 remedy that shelter actually you you are that that is the meaning mm-hmm. so here india is having its own indigenous techniques to bring that idea applicable for yourself mm-hmm. so that so i took that idea from india ha and tatomasi asi joined and i formed indimasi to make oh, everybody wow. understand that yes to make everybody understand that the shelter is within everybody mm-hmm. no need to search outside look inside then you will mm-hmm. find it mm-hmm. yes nice mm-hmm. great great so uh, of course like uh, going further uh, indimasi we uh, heard like there's a lots of chronic disease which you, we know like uh, through ayurveda we can uh, cure it and mm-hmm. i was going through the details and i talked to someone and got to know like if someone has suffering from cancer diabetes blood pressure army arthritis something it can be cured so could you please put some lights on that yes see here we have a data so like we started around uh, one year ago only but already we have attended around 200 patients and among the 200 we got around uh, four or five cancer patients expelled from even other hospitals mm-hmm. and uh, people who are having Uh, sugar level of around 450 500 and bp high bp and psoriasis so these kind of things 
but we we are not giving any kind of special treatment for any one of these people we made them understand how you have to clean your mind and body and the traditional methods derived from ayurveda and yoga with the proper quotings from authentic text we taught them see these are the masters who introduced this technique these many thousands of years ago and this is the practical way of application and we taught them how to eat clean food how to drink sufficient water how to maintain your body heat how to breathe and how to sleep if we manage this five elements you know like a ratio between these five elements body will naturally acquire its immunity when that immunity is developed whatever may be the disease you are suffering from will be eliminated so at the moment the patient is understanding that the, uh, the problem or the uneasiness developed from the disease is vanishing or reducing it will develop the confidence of the person if a person is having self confidence who, which disease can put him down mm-hmm. this is what we apply here and one more thing we should keep in mind that this technique is not like a belief india indian ayurveda and yoga is ideas developed from tapasas i mean sages have you heard about people who are doing the tapas in the himalayas mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in sanskrit word tapa means heat heat is the player of mutation like if you take an ice cube it's solid so molecule water molecules mutate each other to produce ice cube or it's a solid thing you apply heat on that tapa it will convert to water heat it again apply more heat it will be converting into vapor vapor also can be heated again it will vanish into air so who is the player of the change tapa heat same way everybody is having 37.3 degrees in degree then this tapa is start, starting you know into a fluctuation you are not at ease the machine like our car if the engine is overheated it is not at ease same way the body body machine will become into a diseased state so learn to play with the heat i mean tapas tapas is not you know supposed to do in the deep caves of himalayas or the dense forest this is what i started the time mm. you know when i started this learn mm. how to play with your breath how to manage your mind then you can directly deal with the temperature within yourself any virus or bacteria any microorganism is working inside if you know how to play with the tapa you know how to do the tapas as a daily practice no disease is relevant in front of that man, you know person yes wow and um, um as you know it sounds like uh, indi masi is um, is growing up um tell us more about uh, indi masi location and um you know how it is growing overall yeah it is the it is in trivandrum capital of kerala mm-hmm. just a half an hour drive from trivandrum international airport mm-hmm. but located in a very green you know it is away from the city border around mm-hmm. 15 kilometers and we have a wonderful place where we have a sufficient fresh air mm-hmm. fresh water and lot of sun that's more than enough for our existence yes for treatment even wow wow and uh, there are many uh, ayurveda packages uh, available in, in your um in dimasi tell us more mm-hmm. to our audience it would be great to know from from you directly to them if we have four types like uh, minimum we need 7 days mm-hmm. to educate the person about the system mm-hmm. and how to eat how to drink and how to do the exercise and meditate mm-hmm. so we have for chronic diseases we need some time for taking the you know, initial troubles we have uh, all kinds of packages 7 uh, day package 14 day 21 day and 28 days and it includes medicinal applications like uh, massage ki dhara all ayurveda we have a good team of ayurveda doctors also mm-hmm. but guided by a yogi i mean i am country you know just guiding them uh-huh. to get into the core of ayurveda yes mm. wow and uh, thanks for sharing the detail and uh, while we are about to wrap up our conversation uh, you know what a lot of travelers 
uh, you know, they have a, a different notion about traveling right now. Uh, there is a fear, there's a bunch of other things. What's your message to them as such? See, when we will get fear, the cause of fear is ignorance. Mm -hmm. If I don't know what is happening in my body and mind, I will be scared. Then I will start searching for the remedy outside. I will mm -hmm. go to a doctor, I will go to a yogi, I will go to a, a physician or a, a dietitian. But all these people will say according to their level of understanding. But so long as we depend on the external information, we will have the fear. Mm -hmm. If we have the fear, fear is the cause of all diseases. What I want to tell to people, the listeners, mm -hmm. spend at least 30 minutes a day, mm -hmm. sit somewhere mm -hmm. and look inside. I mean, observation or we can call meditation. Mm -hmm. Why I am reluctant to use the word meditation because meditation is overly used and misinterpreted a lot. Right. Meditation is a simple exercise of observation. Just close your eyes and try to observe what is happening within. If we do it as a regular basis, like as we go for a shower, every day we have to take a shower to clean the external body. Same way, we have to spend 15 to 30 minutes for cleaning our inner system. Mm -hmm. That inner cleansing is called meditation. If anybody can practice that as a daily, you know, like ritual or whatever it is, mm -hmm. slowly we will come out of that fear. The fear is taken out. We never run after any kind of information. Because it's like, have you ever seen an animal who is trusted with, uh, you know, some kind of external problems? Mm -hmm. They are not depending on the intellect. They are well connected with the instinct. So instinct is directly dealing with the, the nature, the law of nature. What human being lost is, mm -hmm. they ignored the instinct and they started depending only on the intellect. That is why we have intellectual development. We evolved a lot and we started controlling almost all species in the nature. But we ignored how to control our inner system. Here, Ayurveda and Yoga. As a yogi, I can tell people that. Okay, keep your intellectual efficiency in its full height, but same time, what you lost is your instinct, instinctive information. Get that. Make a union between your intellect. Intellect is in the brain and instinct is in the lungs. So make a union between the brain and the lungs. Then your heart will be comfortably beating. Whenever we are stressed, you can come to know your heart will be having a, you know, it will go to, to out of rhythm. So learn how to keep your heart in a rhythmic keep your heart in a rhythmic way. That can be happened by making a union between your brain and your lungs. That is what is called union between intellect and the instinct will solve all the problems, whether it is in the body or in the mind. Wow, yes. wow. Is it suddenly a great learning to us and our uh, audience that uh, a uh, being unison uh, or union with cosmic mother cosmic and doing some meditation in, in an introspection uh, and being a little bit away from fear will certainly help and, and that is a basic principle for uh, yoga and Ayurveda as such and that will certainly help us to get better as, uh, in terms of energy power with that thought um, well, thank you uh, Yogi Ji to, to join our show we, we have our uh,